Manitoba Liquor Marts presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by foodmanitoba.ca. Local farms, local foods. Welcome to Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name's Ace Burpee. We are at the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Center. And joining me this week, we're going to bake, and it's going to be awesome, from the Manitoba Canola Growers Association, my good friend Ellen Pruden. Good to have you. Thank you. And Sheila Nash, product expert for Manitoba Liquor Marts, is going to have to pair these wonderful baking creations with some drinks at the end. So first off, let's find out what we are making. They're good. Okay, well, it's, the first recipe is going to be a pineapple carrot chiffon cake. Super light, airy, with the cream cheese icing. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a lemon-inspired cupcake, again, with a really nice kind of icing on top. And then we're going to finish off with a gluten-free sour cream sugar cookies. Mm. Delicious. A little sweet, but not too sweet. Okay, a lot to work with there. But what do you want to know specifically? Um, specifically, I'm thinking there's lots of sweet stuff that's awesome, but the, the cookies, sour cream. It just adds some lightness and some airiness to the sugar cookies. So they're really light. They're super um, just kind of fluffy and and then they're gluten free. So they're a slightly different texture than a traditional cookie. But again, you know, it's like going to have that nice softness, a little crunch on the outside and some mm. softness in the middle. Sounds fabulous. OK, well, I'm going to go shopping. Have Get to work. Okay. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> that is Sheila. She's going to go uh, make some drinks for us. Ellen, we're going to start with a we pineapple are. carrot chiffon cake. What is chiffon cake? Well, chiffon is a cake that's traditionally made with oil. So we're using canola oil. It's a local product. It's super healthy. And we have, you know, 9,000 farmers in the province that grow it. And so it's a really fantastic product. Um, but it's, you know, with baking, it's a science. And we got to measure and follow the instructions, right? So it looks kind of complicated, this recipe, but we're going to break it down really simply. Okay. The first part is we need to separate eggs. So we need our egg whites and our egg yolks. And we need six of them for this recipe. So you want, you know what to do, Ace, right? So we're going to keep, we're going to have egg yolks go in one. Oh, we're separating yeah, it. We're going to separate it. I've never done it. I saw you do it on TV <laughs> once. <laughs> so you want the yolk, the yolks to stay in right? the shell, yeah. And then I saw you do this once. Yes. And it looked like really cool. And let the whites that come out. That looks like it's working. Yes. And then you're going to put the yolk in the other container. I feel like you've empowered me, and that feels good. And thank so you. the trick is because we want to keep this separated that you do it one by one okay. and then we're going to pour in our egg whites. Now if you get a shell, here's a great little trick, you take the outside of your egg uh, shell and yeah. then you just, it scoops up the, the shell and there you go, you got it. Come on. Yep, that's it. So You're good. So we have, if we come on over here, we have our six um, egg whites, sugar, three quarter cups, and a cream of tartar. And that helps to keep it nice and stiff. And you want to have stiff peaks, just like that. Okay? So that gets mixed up ahead of time. Now we have our egg yolks and vanilla. Right. We're going to beat that. Can and we're you gonna... tell, can I tell on TV that your <laughs> bowls are shaped as hearts? I don't know. Well, come on, you... right there. It's heart healthy and canola and... You know, That's and you, you gotta bake with, thing. and you gotta bake with love. You do. Yes. It makes all the difference in the world. So half a cup of oil, of our canola oil, and we're gonna blend that together. So you can mix, and then we have our grated carrots, and so that goes in here. Carrots and pineapple. Right, and then our pineapple. So we've drained a can of uh, pineapple, a small can, and so you're gonna add in your pineapple, and then you're looking for. Where did you get this recipe from? <gasps> This is the coolest thing. So it's from Jordan, and she was the winner of the Red River College Canola Bake Off. Oh, so nice. it's her recipe that's inspired. She's going to school to become a, a baking, um, a you baker. Know, a baker, yes. Side and note, <laughs> no, the guy who invented the chiffon cake, okay? Okay. He's in California in the 1920s. He was a baker, and his name, Harry Baker. <laughs> Drew, Google it. <laughs> Jordan, great recipe, by the way. This is going to be she, good. Well done. I, yeah, and hands down, you know, she was the best. So in our you bowl... You put the pineapple juice in here, I, I noticed I put the pineapple well. juice, okay. yes. So we got all of our liquids in one bowl. Right. Now in our dry, we have flour, baking powder, cinnamon, uh, a little bit of salt, and nutmeg. So we're going to pour nutmeg. our liquid into here. And that's going to combine. So it looks complicated, but it's really not, right? So like we're just doing three steps. And then the key, so this is just going to combine. Oh, I'm making it. There we go. So you're going to combine it. 
and it's going to be quite thick, but that's exactly oh, what that you want. Oh, that smells good. That's See, nutmeg, that look yeah? Good? Oh, yeah. Okay, Just now you have your egg whites. Yes. So you want to do, it's called the folding method. <laughs> it's thick, Ellen. It's thick, I know, but here's the trick. So you're going to take a quarter of it and you're just going to plop it in. And this yeah. you can just mix in. That's the official term mix is it. to plop it in, everyone. Plop it in and mix it in. Okay. And then it's going to start to loosen up. Oh, it is. Look okay. at that. All right. This is not your first day. No. <laughs> Wow. This is a great recipe to make for when you have co uh, company coming over. You don't have to ice it. If you, you want them to it. love you, oh, you yeah. make this. So yes. You take the whisk out, and now we're going to do folding. So you want to take a blob. What does folding do? I feel like okay. I know that. So you just take that out. I'll yeah. put it over here. And now you're just, oh, yeah, you just you want to go in and over. just flip yeah. it over and fold it. So it's just nice. You want to you beat these eggs with love, and you want to keep that airiness up into yeah. it. So you just want to combine it, and that's that's the trick. You don't want to start whipping it again like we were doing with the egg yolks. Just nice and light. And that's that. Okay. We're going to add in the rest. So it goes into an angel food pancake. Yeah. It comes off, but you don't want to spray it. So chiffon cakes, you never spray, you never flour. All right. You bake this it in the oven. This is what we end up with. At 350 for about an hour, and then you have to invert it. What is, I thought this was not supposed to be here. Yeah. No. That is supposed to be here. So you want to invert I see. it and Fun. cool it. And that helps to keep the height and the airiness that you have going on with the chiffon cake. And then we end off that you're going to do a really beautiful icing, uh, cream cheese, icing sugar, canola margarine. And there's our finish. This is incredible. That is pineapple carrot chiffon cake <laughs> with, and this won't show up on foodmanitoba.ca, but it should, but um, you, the secret ingredient, as always, is love. Yeah. Ellen, well done. Great start. Thanks, nice. We'll be right back. We're making cupcakes, I think. Yes.